In this video, we're going to look at some other options in the service attendance grid, and we're going to focus on settings that deal with musicians, how to tailor the grid to only see the people you want. The first setting is one you're obviously familiar with, but it bears repeating. These radio buttons at the top that tell the grid to only show staff or core players of the orchestra, only show substitutes or musicians hired for these services specifically, or to show everyone. Since I have the All option checked, you can see I can see my core players and my substitutes side by side. The other options we're going to look at are hidden here under the Show More button. If I click this down arrow, you can see a multitude of options appear. The first one we're going to look at is this one. Notice in my Violin 2 section and in Violin 1, I have some empty rows, core players of the orchestra who are not accounted for. That's because these musicians have rotated into Violin 1 for this set of services, so their Violin 2 row is completely empty. If you don't want to see these empty rows for your musicians, you can just check this option to hide the staff who do not have service assignments, and when I click Refresh, the screen will redraw, and all empty rows will be suppressed. So now you can see in Violin 1 and Violin 2, there are no more empty rows. A related setting pertains to core players who are absent in some way. In Violin 1, I have this musician on a sick leave. I have this musician on disability in Violin 2. If you want your grid to suppress those, just tell it to only show present staff musicians. And now you can see throughout the grid, all the staff musicians are marked as present. This option takes care of musicians whose system group is staff or substitute. You can, however, also filter by their actual address group. So if we're booking concerts that are only for fellows or I want to only see per service guarantee musicians, I can tell the grid to only show musicians of that address group. And on this service attendance grid, I'll give you a quick example. I have some in-school concerts to assign and only the musicians who participate in my education programs would play those. So I tell the grid to only show me musicians who belong to my education address group, and now the grid only shows those participating musicians. Notice that as soon as I selected that option, this button turned red to inform me that hidden here, I do have some options selected. I'll come back here. The final thing to look at is this option. In addition to address group, you can also tell the grid to only show services of a specific artist. This is most useful if you're looking at a season-wide or season-long set of assignments, which I've done over here on this grid. I am going to tell the system I only want to see 16, 17, all projects, and I only want to see them for this particular musician. And now when I hide that and refresh, you'll see that it shows the entire service record for that musician in between his two sections. So he rotates between those two, and at a glance I can see when he's playing in which section. So use those options to tailor the service attendance grid to only see the musicians you want.